Feng Shui, also known as Chinese geomancy, is a pseudoscientific traditional practice originating from ancient China, which claims to use energy forces to harmonize individuals with their surrounding environment. Historically, Feng Shui was widely used to orient buildings, often spiritually significant landmarks such as tombs, but also dwellings and other structures. The Feng Shui practice discusses architecture in terms of invisible forces that bind the universe, earth, and humanity together, known as Qi. The goal is to situate the human-built environment on spots with good Qi. The perfect spot is a location based upon the observation of heavenly time and earthly space. Early Feng Shui relied on astronomy to find correlations between humans and the universe. There is evidence of star maps being used for Feng Shui, which can be traced back to 4000 BC. Beginning in around 1750 BC or later, all capital cities of China followed rules of Feng Shui for their design and layout. Rituals for using a Feng Shui instrument required a diviner to examine current sky phenomena to set the device and adjust their position in relation to the device. The oldest examples of instruments used for Feng Shui are Shi and Da Liu Ren. The magnetic compass was later invented for the purpose of Feng Shui. The markings on a Shi and the first magnetic compasses are virtually identical. There are multiple methods or branches of Feng Shui which can be practiced. The traditional foundations of the practice include Qi, Yin and Yang theory, the five elements, which according to the Chinese are metal, earth, fire, water, and wood, and Bagua, which are eight symbols used in Taoist cosmology to represent the fundamental principles of reality. Many of the higher level forms of Feng Shui are not easily practiced without having connections in the community or a certain amount of wealth to hire experts. Many who cannot afford or do not have these connections practice less expensive forms of Feng Shui, including hanging mirrors, forks, or woks in doorways to deflect negative energy. In the 1970s, Feng Shui became marketable in the United States and has since been reinvented by New Age entrepreneurs for Western consumption. In the late 20th century, Feng Shui practitioners were persecuted in China during the Cultural Revolution, where the Communist Party of China was attempting to preserve Chinese communism by purging remnants of the capitalist and traditional elements of Chinese society. Feng Shui practitioners were reportedly beaten and abused by the Red Guards, and their works were burned. After the Cultural Revolution, the official attitude became more tolerant, but restrictions on Feng Shui practice are still in place in today's China. It is illegal to register a Feng Shui business or advertise Feng Shui in the current People's Republic of China due to the belief that it is promoting feudalistic superstitions. In today's China, less than one third of the population believe in Feng Shui, and learning the practice is still considered taboo. Feng Shui is classed as a pseudoscience as it makes claims about the functioning of the world which cannot be proven by scientific method. Magicians Penn and Teller dedicated an episode of their bullshit television show to criticize the contemporary practice of Feng Shui in the Western world. They devised a test in which the same dwelling was visited by five different Feng Shui consultants, attempting to show that there is no consistency in the professional practice of Feng Shui. All five consultants produced different opinions about the said dwelling, proving Penintella's point. 